Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to showcase a Neo NASF. That's a Neo Aluminum Snowmobile Flat Top Trailer. Shown here is a 7x22, very common three-place sled trailer. Of course, they would call this an all-sport all trailer, as it can be used for other sports and other purposes. We carry some with extra height that would be ideal for UTVs, certainly get uh, quads, bikes, etc. in these particular units. This would be what we call a seven foot inline sled trailer. They do also make it in a seven and a half, although it's uh, not near as common. I'm gonna take you for a walk around this unit, show you some of the standard features, as well as some of the options that are put on this unit. This one's got mostly standard features, a lot of what you see here. Uh, most of our add-ons are gonna be inside on this particular unit. So you're gonna start off at the back of the trailer. Uh, Neo does a couple of neat details on their trailers. We find these to be generally slightly above an average price point, but you get great craftsmanship and some nice features. Uh, thin strip LED lights, clear lens, give it a nice look. Aluminum grab handles instead of plastic. Uh, they trim out the rear ramp door in aluminum as well. You'll notice they use the Neo uh, Pro Stab Stabilizer Jacks. This is something proprietary to Neo that they make in house. Just give you an idea of the quality of the welds that they do. Uh, this has some TIG welds on it. These guys only build aluminum trailers. We tend to find that manufacturers of only aluminum trailers tend to have a little bit better finish quality. These are a 2x2 two two tube stabilizer jack. They could certainly be used uh, when loading, or you could use them for other application as well. It's got the NASF name badge. On the hinges on these, they use a Teflon hinge. This particular hinge doesn't need serviced. It's kind of a set it and forget it type setup. In the middle here is an NXP stainless latch. Very neat setup. He needs one hand or a couple fingers and a little bit of muscle. Inside they use a womanized floor. They also do the uh, flap extension a little different. Some instead of having a butterfly hinge, they actually outside hinge it. Neat setup. Very tight tolerances on the flap. You also notice the NXP latch, uh, not only does it look neat, stainless steel, but it also prides the door shut. So instead of a traditional bar lock where you gotta force it shut and exert a lot of force, this latch is very simple. Even a small kid can operate it as long as they can reach it. So basically that latch is actually gonna pry into that keeper on the trailer. It's gonna make it very simple so that anybody could latch the trailer. I'll take you inside here in a minute, show you some of the inside features on this. From the back there you can see the sled package tie downs that we've got added to it. Now when we do that we also go to a 16 inch on center floor upgrade. Neo on these uses a tube corner post. Uh, actually all three sides. I'll give you a close up again of some of their weld quality. Generally that kind of weld you're not going to find on a manufacturer that tends to do steel and aluminum trailers. Screwless exterior, it's an 030 thickness. And one thing these guys, uh, they make a steel wheel standard. We do tend to upgrade most of these to aluminum or at least a fair amount. We have a handful of different wheel styles generally in stock. One thing we really like about Neo, besides the quality craftsmanship is they use an integrated frame. So I'll show you the frame that they do underneath the trailer here in a second. But you can see it's very clean on the outside. Uh, there's no trim. It's actually boxed out by the mainframe. Other details, they do the scuff guards on the corner. Also notice the NXP latch on the front door. A lot of cool things that these guys do in-house because they do pretty much most all the fab in-house on their trailers. They give you the fancy stone guard. One detail I also like is their name badge up front. Then you also notice they bullnose the front nose. So instead of being a V nose, which is all right, this is still a V, but it's a, it's a tapered V. I think it looks a little classier. Now, another thing they've done recently, they've rolled the top trim. So instead of being flat, you'll notice it's got a little bit of a profile to it. it gives it a neat look. It's a flat top roof, but it has a little bit of a rounded 
uh, shape to it. Up front, instead of a A-frame jack or a swivel jack, they go to a drop leg jack. A lot nicer if you've never used one of these before. Simply pull a pin, inner leg's gonna come down to the ground. The outer sleeve is adjusted via the sidewind jack handle. Gives you a lot of extension, no need to carry around wood blocks anymore. Also standard on these, a Demco stainless coupler. This is actually a auto latching coupler, neat setup. They also use a, uh, a deep freeze cord or a cold weather cord, or some will call it Arctic. Significance is negative 65 degrees on there. That, well, also made in the USA, that's an important detail, but um, cold weather harness will stay flexible down to negative 65 degrees instead of the harnesses that get stiff. Again, all LED lights. Let me show you underneath the trailer and give you a better look at the integrated frame. So you'll notice instead of having a tongue underneath the main frame, everything integrates. Uh, it's actually got a center triple tube tongue. It's actually a double hollow frame that comes back, uh, what, four or five cross members. Also notice those cross members are two by four tube. Uh, we see some in the industry use a, a much lighter tube. And again, these are also a 16 inch on center. This is also a womanized floor. Standard equipment would be a radial tire. This being a 3,500 pound Dexter axle. Uh, it's gonna have a 205-75 R15. Be a load range C6 ply. Brakes on both axles are standard equipment. These have the new never adjusting brakes and also has the easy lube hubs. The easy lube hubs, you can simply pull a black cap Behind it is a greaser, and a hand, homeowner with uh, average hand tools can service their uh, their own trailer. So let's take a look inside here. Again, you got a flap extension. You also got the NXP handle on both doors. Inside, they put the uh, breakaway cable. Uh, or breakaway battery, I'm sorry. Inside a protector, inside the trailer. Kind of a neat design. They also got a kick plate at the bottom. They also have a, a separate plate that's gonna cover the side door when you're loading your equipment. Uh, they take the time to router each of these uh, tie downs. It's all completely uh, CNC automated, nice setup. Again, these are 16 on center and then the tie downs are every second stud. They tie directly down to each uh, perpendicular stud. We've added a 48 inch uh, helmet cabinet. You also got tie downs uh, for garments and whatnot. It doubles as the structure. You also notice the gusset plates that they put in the corners. You've got tube wall studs and you've got tube ceiling studs on 16 centers. All your wiring is going to tuck behind the cove. Also standard would be your LED dome lights, which tie to a wall switch. You've got the RV style side door, not the strap hinge door. It gives it a cleaner look. Also notice it's color matched. You've got a lock from the inside and the outside. Standard with this, you also get a pack of the tie downs that fit the tie down system. Got a junction box for all your wiring. Again, this is a 22 foot, ideal for uh, 121, 129, and 137 track sleds. We also stock other sizes like a 26 and a 28 for four sleds. This is also available in a 24 if you've got larger sleds and want a larger three set sled setup. My name's Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Be happy to answer any questions you might have at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.